is Miss Pitchin, and I have a very special guest today. Hello, everybody. Who, clearly, I got dressed up. This is dressed up. Maybe if you bought me nice things, I would dress up too. Maybe if you were a stone <laughs> Hey, it's better than the t-shirt I wore here. It just said Yosemite National Parks. Shout out to them. <laughs> Spon- <laughs> today will be sponsored by Yosemite, Yosemite National, National Parks. Parks. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay. So, this is exciting, because happy holidays. We wanted to wish you happy holidays. And for the last couple of months, Frederick's been asking, are you guys going to do gingerbread? When are you going to do gingerbread? So we worked on the gingerbread recipe, and he is our hardest critic, because you love gingerbread. I love sweets in general. I'm always the toughest critic. Um, I've already had, like, six of these. So <laughs> they're very, very good. Um, we haven't been making these very long, right? No, we haven't. I'm, I've only, I think I've only made them a couple times at the house. Yeah. So I look out half of one. That's all she's gotten, and I literally ate her ass. That is actually a true story. I was there. I can tell you that. Rocky had bad listening ears, so he hasn't had any. (laughs) That's real life, people. That's That's real life. You can relate. (laughs) So um, this month in the Foodster subscription box for all of you subscribers. Oh, before I even say that, I should say we're also going to have some fun giveaways and surprises. And Freddie and I are going to come up with the trivia on the fly. And so the first person to answer is going to win exciting prizes. You get a car. You get a car. No, no one's getting a car. You're not getting a car. I'm not buying you anything. No, you're not even getting a gas card. (laughs) No, nothing. Um, Although we do have some really cute Hot Wheels. And uh, uh, anyway, so if you have a subscription, I lose focus. It's like Johnny Finn. It's okay. I do the same thing. So in the subscription. What were we talking about? Gingerbread men. Boosters. Boosters. That's right. Boosters, gingerbread men. So in the kit this month is our gingerbread man, our gingerbread person. What do you is what it's is a it? man? It's what? run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Not the I'm the gingerbread androgynous dude. Like no, it's man, gingerbread man. Why is it someone like an androgynous? You don't even know the gingerbread man rhymes. Do you guys know she doesn't know the gingerbread man rhymes? I she thought knows. I was making it up. No, she literally the only one she knows is from the old school Batman animated series in the '90s where Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, as the Joker, says, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the Joker man. She knows this because of our son and tried to say that was the original. No, it's the gingerbread song, that was the Christmas special that the Joker was involved in, hence the Ginger Man, Joker Man song. See, you gotta laugh. I didn't know the song, this is a true story. But at least your baking's on point. My baking is on point. So in the kit for this month, see this is me staying focused, I'm staying focused. You not only get our amazing gingerbread mix, but you get all of the extra added things to add to it to make it spectacular. Um, even our peppermint is organic, which is great. Hey, 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 those are That's for baking. really good. You know what? They're still so funny. Don't worry. I know, but you know what? Uh, we're going to see if this gingerbread person, her man, is better. And yeah. the more you eat of yours, I'm just saying mine is probably going to take it. My gingerbread man doesn't have a sweet tooth. I'm going to dress him up with Brussels sprouts and asparagus and eat all of it. <laughs> I should our house. I probably would actually go over really well. Okay, so you guys are going to witness the first time Freddie has ever made the gingerbread. I have and only eaten. I have not made it. And I'm going to say this. I'm sure you guys have heard this story before, but just to go back for a little bit, Freddie went to culinary school. He was the chef in our house. I, I well, Yes, but he still went. Yeah. Yeah, I eat. That's what I do. <laughs> um, and I um, love baking, and I love baking with the kids, but we were really, like, looking for something that was higher quality, better ingredients, and we were shocked to find when we went to the stores to do it with our kids that there wasn't, that it was all of these, and I always say this, if the consonant to vowel ratio is really off, there's something <laughs> wrong with the ingredients, right? If my yeah. seven-year-old can't read the if ingredients, If it's that long right? on the ingredients, don't box, eat it. it's bad. And, and it's, it's hard to make things from scratch, and you guys have made it a lot easier. I don't have to measure anything. Look, I'm good at cooking. I'm not great at baking. Baking is science, and it can be hard and overwhelming. I had to do it when I was a kid at Hometown Buffet in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Shout out to Hometown Buffet. It, sorry, it sucked. Like, I hated working I mean, there, because it was hard. This is actually easy, and that's the coolest thing about it. Your celebration cake's my favorite one. I can make it myself. It's awesome. I eat it all the time, and I don't have to measure anything. Well, <laughs> you do. You have. I mean, you do have to measure. Yes, it but, it's, but yeah. yes, but I'm not butter. I can measure <laughs> butter. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Would you Would you like to make some gingerbread? Yeah. Please. We're also going to take questions. Um, and yeah. if comments are nice, we'll probably take those too. Turn your Turn oh, your phone. I have my phone. Okay. Both. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to cream the butter. All right. So, otherwise known as mantequilla in Spanish, or burro in Italian. 
Okay, I'm gonna, and we all know that I am slightly um, challenged when it comes to using technology, so we're gonna see if I can figure out how to get the questions. That's not, oh look, that's us. <laughs> Hi guys, that's like really you kind just of fun. That Now you can, now you can oh, Rita see. said cooking is science, baking is magic. Rita, I like that. I like that. I was telling the other one. Oh, yeah, I like that. Science, um, is a gingerbread man made of gingerbread house, or is the house made of flesh? <laughs> Why are you um, making it creepy on yeah, the holidays? That's I mean, a Halloween message. Yeah. Okay. No, you didn't. Oh, Emma, you didn't tune in late. We're, we're just starting. We haven't even started making it. Oh, I remember send your likes and your thumbs because I don't remember why, but that's cool, right? I saw the ads on billboards. That's why my heart's in there. Right. Yeah. Well, I've never, I've never knew. I'm not interested in that. Right. Okay, so we're going to cream the butter. Okay. Am I using my hands or am no, I using No, I like to use a mixer. You can use your hands if you want. It takes a little longer. Our son likes to use his hands, but I recommend a low speed hand mixer. Okay. Everybody get the mute buttons ready on your things because. Ah, uh, is this not loud enough? Oh God, man! Live television. Whoa. Here, I'll put it in. Um, no, you know this is actually a good time. I will break into song while he does that because that would be loud enough to drown me out. What, uh, what level do you like the cream? I would butter? say low. I would say one or two right. to cream the butter. It's actually not as loud as you think. That or I'm just really loud. Um, so there is real television, as you can see. I will do a few more questions while he creams the butter. He's a nice Chicago boy. I know, we always say that. Okay, so that's perfect. Finito. Finito. So, that's what it looks like. Um, Creamy, delicious goodness. This, by the way, it looks really bad. It looks like I'm texting while he's doing this, which is really <laughs> horrible. She's trying to get to your I'm questions. I'm trying to get to your questions. Please don't She's think I'm like... She's not a digital phone so to the hand person. Yes, no. Um, uh, yes, it is a good birthday gift. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. I have to put that. Are we going to invent a family recipe of our own? Well, you know, a lot of these are family. Like, one of the first mixes that we came up with was our cupcake pone, mm -hmm. and that was something that my mom used to make me. Okay, so. <laughs> You're going to cry. <laughs> you know, she gets so, like, emotional with her mom if she can help. How about cracking an egg? Let's crack an egg. Um, Freddie just had to me to do it one-handed forever, so I have to Yeah, just give it a, people are too gentle, so I go a little harder than normal, crack, one hand, use your thumb to open it like that, crack, simple. Now. Simple as a pimple. Right, mix it up. Not simple. What pimples do you have that are simple? The uncomplex ones. Right. Fair enough. Okay. All right. You ready for a mess? Yep. Ready? No mess. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm cooking. Oh, if you want an apron? I have an apron. <laughs> Don't worry. I never wear this nice shirt. <laughs> okay, wait. I have a fun trivia question while he's doing that. Yeah. So, also, for those of you who don't know, my husband wrote an amazing cookbook called Back to the Kitchen, and I'm going to give some away to lots of people that are watching today. Now here's a question team, can we ship out of the country on the book? Or, so we always get asked because, so Blue Strip is not international yet, we can't ship, but I can ship Freddie's book international. So, international people, I have to turn this off, it's not a cool Haha, Food Strip. Yes. Um, so here's our first question, and the first person to answer this correctly, both of us will sign the book and we will send it to you. And our fabulous Food Strip family team is over there watching. My wife wrote the four, so it's not like she's just signing it for no reason. That'd be like if I signed the Keanu Reeves picture, and you're like, yo, that's kind of a jerk <laughs> move. She actually wrote it, so the autograph would make sense. I actually did one time. Someone asked me for an autograph in like the 90s, and they were real like aggressive. They're like, hey, man, sign this for me. I was like, all right, take it easy. Like, no, man, I've been waiting. I'm like, yeah, 20 other people have been waiting outside this hotel in the cold. Chill out. And he put it in my face, so finally I was like, all right, dog. And I signed Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I, get, I get asked to sign Sarah Jessica Parker a lot. Well, you should actually sign it. Okay. I have a grab an after. Go ahead. So here's my first question. So can someone name the actor that both Freddie and I have co-starred with at different times whose birthday it is today? Oh, I know that. Well, I hope so. I hope you remember to send them a happy birthday too. And if not, I we'll jumped, tell you who it is. I jumped, on, I jumped on your happy birthday. Oh, did you? <laughs> oh, you gave them a That's hint. what husbands do. Hint. We don't remember birthdays. We just wait for the wife to group us into the birthday text, and we're like, yeah, rock on. Wait, you glad like you were started, born. You like how we started doing that, right? It's yeah, good, right? No, right. Okay. So now we're going to slowly. Do we have an it? Has someone gotten it right yet? I wish you guys could see. You just asked. I wish, I, I wish you guys could see this. No, you should know this, people. <laughs> I wish you could see the groups. No, that is incorrect. What was Seth, the answer? Seth Green. Oh, it's not his birthday, but we have both worked with him. Yes. yes. 
Um, we wrote them together, though. That would actually be incorrect. If you no, were you worked with him on Buffy, and I worked with him on Jillian. No, that was together, though. Because my question was someone that we, that we worked with separately. Separately. And we also worked with Seth separately. Oh, I see. Because you worked with him on Buffness, and I worked with him on Chagillion. Yeah. Scooby, we were together. No, we were... Nope. Paul Walker? <laughs> nope. Okay, so now I'm going to slowly incorporate the gingerbread mix. It's, le it's, more, it's more obscure than what you guys are thinking. Yes, yeah, so and Freddie gave you a hint that I already yeah, put that my happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> or my Instagram. Or my Facebook. Yeah. That's all. Let's make it fun. Okay, now we're going to slowly mix this. We'll and this is the actual foodsters mix. Gingerbread, yeah, so gingerbread you're mix. mix while I slowly. Oh, I, I don't want to look. See, now you're dressed nice, and now you're gonna see why that was a mistake. Okay. All right, you're going slow, right? Yeah. Now you also can something for. I think it's better to do it this way. But I might just dump one for it in any way. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna slowly mix this in. Yeah. If it feels a little dry, but wait a second, because it does take a little bit of time to do to get the right consistency. Now it's going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you're good. The part of the fun I always say is getting messy. I'm dressed nice because I. Because you're nice. You're nice like Spanish rice. You are just chilling with the rice today. <laughs> I love it. I'm an MC in my former life. Uh, I've not thought about it. That'll be my next question. What was Freddie in his former life? No, I already know. Oh. We met that a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna mix it all in. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to get too greedy with the water because. All of our ingredients are organic. We've really spent time sourcing like the finest ingredients from biodynamic sugar. Oh my god, it smells so Oh it smells my really god. I just got a whiff of gingerbread goodness. Right? Okay, here comes a little more. Yeah. Oh, I just got the whiff. It really does. I'm, yeah, I'm waiting yeah. for Facebook to have like smell vision. Smell vision, where it's at. Wasn't okay. that from Willy Wonka, the original one? Yeah, okay, show? I'm going to give a hint to this question. Apparently, I've stumped people with this question. Oh, you have a letter? <laughs> what? Emma Baldwin. Emma Baldwin got it? Go Emma Baldwin! So well, next thing you know, it's Nathan Amnett, who was on Freddy's show, aptly named Freddy. And <laughs> which is a very clever title. Yeah. Um, and also was, was on Ringer with me and one of our close family friends. And it is her birthday, so Ringer everybody... Ringer was the one. Yeah. Oh, I thought she was on the one with you and Robin. No, she's not a crazy one. So everybody please wish Nathan Amnett a happy birthday. And remember that her show, Riverdale, is going to be premiering on the 2nd of January. Yeah. And she is the first person to have the honor of being on the show. Oh, yeah. So that was really fun. Okay, so now I'm going to slowly mix this in. And she was very... She was ungenerous. She was stingy with the water. Yeah. So just little bits at a time if you're going to do it. If you're into cooking more than baking, it's like making a roux. You just want to add the flour a little bit at a time, not all at once. So we were just going to add just a touch of water, not much at all. And be patient because it does take time for the consistency. Then what you're going to do is you're going to roll it up into a ball. And I'm not going to do that because I am <laughs> And you're going to put it in a saran wrap and put it in the fridge. And, and after it gets nice and chilly. Magic. Look what I have right here. I'm not even here. <laughs> it's a clone. I'm actually watching. I'm, I'm at home sitting in the gingerbread film. This is Sarah V1 2.0. Enjoy. They're okay. available this Christmas. Um, oh. I do like to flower your surface. Very and someone good. just sent us, it was actually really cool. Someone sent us um, kind of like, they're like cutting trays. Or oh, you showed trays, me this. Yeah. And they have a lip on them too. So if you are afraid of mess, which it's funny for someone like me who is pretty OCD, I'm actually not afraid of a flower mess. But um, if you are, um, it is Yeah, because you take joy in the cleaning up and reorganizing. <laughs> um, also, a good hint when rolling dough is Don't to... Don't your husband with a rolling pin. That's not a good hint. It's a great hint for you. <laughs> no, I think it's probably more for you. Um, make sure you uh, <laughs> flour your rolling pin. I feel like that's a big mistake a lot of when people have, say they have sticky dough. It's because while the flour well, is down there... Pizzas, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think pizza in there. Your right? kids would make every one and it would never work at home. Our kids love making pizza. Yeah, let's roll. Okay, let's roll. Let's roll. I'll get some questions with my messy hands. We probably, Freddie was smart and said we should, we should have had a, um, uh, you know what's funny is it's not the easiest thing to refresh to get. Facebook needs to make that easier to have a way to refresh it so that we can get the comments faster. 
How thin or thick do you like this? A half inch, quarter inch? I would say half inch is a good. Maybe um, a little smaller. Yes. It might rise a bit in the oven, right? Let's see. And I'm being gentle with it right now. I want a little more flour. Uh, will the cupcake cone be available again? You never mm. know. You never know. Um, I love gingerbread cookies. What's your favorite cookie, guys? What's your favorite cookies? Oh, that's uh. Mine's are chocolate chip. I love just the chocolate chip. Those are, man. I just had these gingerbread. I want to say gingerbread, <laughs> but I don't want to just give it to it because it's like in my head you fresh like right now. You like the trail mix cookies that we did too. That Do you know what was had? good. Because I ate them all. Is I need I to make you. Let this moment it's fine. I need. It's fine. You get the idea. I need to make you the carrot cake. Um, middle part yes. here. And then we have our extra large. And then, obviously, for those of you who would See, there's no gingerbread boobs. That's why it's a gingerbread man. I haven't designed my person yet. What if my person is? Okay, well, when you make your your little your cookie cutter thing, it has to have ginger woman parts on it. But what, what if it's androgynous? We also discussed having androgynous. Why does it have to be? Why can't it have heels? I mean... You put heels, it's a gingerbread woman. I'll give you that. But you gotta make gingerbread high heels. Um, don't Gingerbread do Jimmy Choo's. If, if, if you're watching, don't do that. Just do it. Um, and then you have your little gingerbread man. If you have a little bit extra, you can always, you know, reshape a little bit. And eat it, even though you're not supposed to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna like cast iron stomach to digest anything. It's true. I'm really tired. <laughs> I once my favorite story ever was once I was with Brendan Fraser, who is a no. Are you he, about to tell the spicy story? The jalapeno story. Thank you. It's a good story, right? Yeah, so big, buff, tough, bad boy, Brendan Fraser. Jungle, Brendan six Fraser. foot five, not like most actors who are five foot five. <laughs> six foot five, 200 plus pounds, trained Krav Maga, super tough guy, go. Okay, so we were in Mexico City making a movie, and I, he told me that he likes spicy food, and I said, no, I love spicy food. And he mm. said, well, let's see who can eat the most jalapenos. And I was like, okay, fine. Crazy Canadian, mistake yeah, number me, one. Yeah. I have video and pictures of him literally tears streaming down his face. You should it was actually so spicy. see if he'd be okay. <laughs> the show is the show. Do you imagine? <laughs> Brendan White. Brendan White. What's up? You um, want to high five my gingerbread man, don't you? Yeah. Needless to say, I love my gingerbread man. Um, it was not even a fair contest. Yeah, I'm the only one that can hang with you in spice. You could be no, I'm sure some of you out there could hang. Some of you couldn't. But out of the people right. we know, we're the only spicy. Ones. I'm going to clean this up for a second so we can decorate. That is part of the fun. So in our kit is also our organic frosting mix, which is which is um, I think absolutely delicious. Um, you interesting. Oh, thank you. Okay, I just wanted to say. An interesting fact about our frosting is we make it with Greek yogurt, which is one of the reasons it tastes so delicious. We can also make it with um, regular yogurt. Uh, you made some amazing Foosters pancakes the other day with lemon yogurt as well. You guys use that ingredient a lot, and it kills them. I did. I had. Um, we love making pancakes in our house. It's like one of our. It's really a, a weekend tradition. I would say. If you allow the children to choose, that is the only thing they will choose. Yes, Rocky would choose pan, 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 pan cake. What's it called? Pancakes. Pancake. Pancake. Or just cake now because this, cake. Da, this is cake. This is cake. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, yeah, yes, this is cake. Um, but I realized that I have not gone to the store to get Greek yogurt because um, I like to call that a hashtag mom joke. And uh, so I was like rummaging through the house. <laughs> That's I said, I said, Freddie, you sleep in. I'm gonna make breakfast. I'm gonna do this. He's been making breakfast all week because I've been working. And so I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? And we had um, lemon yogurt, and my kids love lemon, so we made lemon. How dare you are. I know, see, this is uh -huh. You know what I probably should've done is put the apron on. Anyway, cut to. Oh, no, yeah, I wasn't bragging, but I'm cleaning it. Just like that. That's just a little bit. And the camera can't see that, so it doesn't even exist. <laughs> well, it's okay. You'll be going through drag queen issues. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I just okay. heard myself um, a drip Anyway, so I made, we made um, lemon yogurt pancakes with the food and it went over really well. And it's a great way to sort of make your kids have more developed palates and to try like interesting different flavors. Yeah, my mom was giving me everything you could eat. Like when people say, well, you can't give your child sushi or she gave it to me when I was a baby and I still eat it today. I eat everything. That's true. Okay, so here's the fun part. So in the kit also comes a piping bag. Pipe it up. Pipe it up. And then this is the fun part. It's going to be the all right. Do you guys want to shout out some questions that might be people might be wondering while I'm, we're wait, 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 we before there's a question? I'm pre-warning everybody. I can't draw a straight line. My stick figures look like I have like you're better than me. You can draw straight lines. <laughs> no, those were Charlotte's. <laughs> they really were. 
<laughs> you're talking about the R two D two? He drew that, not me. Hey. Mine looked like I was drawing with the hand you're not. <laughs> All right, what are you doing here? So can I make them look however I want? You do, and that's the beauty of, of this is you can do it. Do I need to poke a hole in it? No, we already cut it, and the piping bag comes in kits. I'm gonna get artistic today. I'm going out there. What's up, you guys? Any questions that people are wondering about? Me? They want to know what inspired you to get into baking. Um, our kids. Yeah. You know, Freddie really had the cooking covered in our household, and mm -hmm. I wanted. I realized that I was like missing out on these like great opportunities, and I wanted to do something. And baking is one of the easiest ways to get kids in the kitchen, and they're watching um, cupcake boards and all these. And I thought, you know, let's do it. And then I realized what was in the ingredients. I thought, I don't want my kids eating this. Um, so we figured out a way to, you know, to do both to be able to eat it and uh, make it taste better and be better for you at the same time. And also, Freddie from his hometown buffet experience is kind of over baking. Although now I think I've gotten it back into it again. Yeah, because I can eat it. I wasn't allowed to eat their food. Well, I did keep, I did keep one. <laughs> Not particularly. No? Okay, what about anyone else? We had to come up some more trivia questions to sign the books. They asked what your favorite kind of pancake is. Ooh, <laughs> I like banana walnut basters pancakes. I throw sliced strawberries in every pancake. If we have them, that's what I do. Samantha wants to know uh, who is cooking Christmas dinner? This dude right here that is making a gingerbread woman. <laughs> um, and for those of you who remember our last Facebook Live, Roller Girl, Sarah, if you're watching, you will also be joining us for um, uh, Christmas. Sorry, I got very into See, this is, this is shiny objects. <laughs> shiny objects. Wait, I was doing something, and then I forgot what I was doing. Um, so we get we, we get a little competitive in our house, clearly. I'm gonna win. Are Wait, you? I already messed up again. Watch this though. Okay. Okay. Do anyone have any? Who you know? Yep. How are we gonna decide? What? What's up? Can you buy food to the store? Yes, you can. It's very exciting. So no, we launched. Good. What he said. So we launched uh, last year. Last. October online with our subscription, and uh, this September, I guess we're kind of August, we started uh, launching in retail, and so now you can find us in Whole Foods on the Northeast. You can find us across all the Whole Foods in Southern California. You can also find us in Gelson's, where we have the coolest little display, and Gelson's also sells the kits. We're in all the fresh markets across um, the country, and here's the trick. If we're not in your Whole if we're not in your Whole Foods, ask your dad. That's right. That's yeah. right. Um, I'm not showing you guys my cookie. I want you to see it. I give you a close up. You cannot look here because I want you to see it with my sweet ideas. This is probably going to be a top three gingerbread okay. cookie ever. <laughs> How are you doing over here with yours? You got you putting some sweet sugar on there. What kind okay, of sugar this is, is this? This is not sugar. This is organic peppermint. Uh, are you kidding me? Yeah, organic like peppermint. Like stuff? Mm -hmm. And it comes all crushed already for you. No. By the way, I would make the worst doctor take a look, because take my a look. Voice. Oh. Okay, go for it. From Alice. Oh, I just got flour all over my ginger. Did I just lose because I got flour to make no, cream? No, no, you're good. You're okay, good. go ahead. Alice, Alice wants to know which one of Freddie's recipes in his book are you terrible at making? Is Sarah. She, I do the cooking, so that's easy. Like she doesn't have to do that. Like, I love Wait, cooking. How are my taquitos were good? Did you think I made Your taquitos were bomb. Okay, that's how I was cooking. That's why, but they were okay. bomb. Let's show. Let's show. Okay, let's show. Now mine has flour on it. That's okay. It's just pasty white, okay. like an Irish meal every single second. Okay. Ready? Here's my gingerbread wool man. No. High heel shoes, glittery fancy dress with boobs, lipstick, fingernails done. Her did, nails did, everything did. What? <laughs> so Greatest I, gingerbread ever. People you did wondering. your smile upside down. Yeah, but you can't get it. Yeah. But. What? It doesn't yeah, work. it's upside down. No, I made a reindeer. I made a reindeer. <laughs> I made a gingerbread reindeer. That's cheating. It's support. Uh, well, now mine is. Uh, <laughs> that's a girl doing something she shouldn't do. Um, we're going to keep her right side up. Boosters after dark. <laughs> By the way, it's sort of appropriate for me uh, who everyone knows I can't get Facebook Live right, and I was always upside down on Facebook. You're getting so tested it's... for Boosters PVDs after this because you cheated, and I think Sarah was doing both. What? Yeah, there you are made no a reindeer, and a reindeer is always going to be cooler. Okay, hold on. I'm going to clean off the surface because your two okay. of us looks really cool, so you can do it. 
Alright, let's do it. But you're going to need a super good one. Let me do it. I mean, look, it's not a reindeer, you guys, but come on, man. What's, what should her name be? Other than Ginger. No, don't say Ginger. Okay. It's got to be more creative. You guys, here's the truth. Freddie is a very tall man. And I've been up since 5 a.m. this morning. Are you taking the heels off? I can't breathe anymore. I've been up since 5 a.m. this morning. No, I'm really not Brendan Fraser. Hi, how are you? But this is, by the way, what it's like for me working with Brendan Fraser. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I work with all the tall, but Brendan Fraser, Lee Pace, I get all of them. Oh, my God. Yeah, Lee's tall. But it's not like Boreanaz is that no, short. No, Davidson and is tall as well. broad, than yeah. Um, Shouldery. Yes. Here's another question. Yes. John Murphy wants to know what are Rocky and Charlotte's favorite picks to make a movie? Oh, I, well, I, I, I know that one. Okay, we took one you open. That's actually true. Um, Charlotte's favorite is um, the Kit Kats. She loves Kit Kats. Oh, yeah. I, and of Rocky's favorite is the Brownie Popsicle. I've never heard them say no, no. to any of true. the ones that you Hey, do you want to make such and such? Yes. But do you know what else Charlotte asked for? It's the other day. She asked for the ombre pancakes again. And then she asked me if we could do the ombre pancakes in different colors. Anytime you guys say ombre, and I know it's not it's ombre. It's not ombre. I know it's not ombre, but it reminds me of that episode of Friends where Joey's like in the cologne thing. Yes. And the other guy, the cowboy guy, is like, ombre. And he always sprays it, and I love that You're the only person so. right now in America that when they say ombre, that's what I they know, think and so. J-Lo made the hair famous and rock on, but it reminds me that's of the Friends episode, really and I know. That's not what I mean. Oh, well, okay, I don't know. It came up in our well, I don't follow. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, you know what? I need to. Um, so, anyway, back to pancakes. So, yes. she asked me about if we could make uh, different color pancakes, and the answer is yes. So, we get um, our dyes are all natural that we get, and so yeah. you can really make any color that you just order. Like purple? Yeah. So, you can make Joker pancakes? I think so. I think so. I could do it with this week. This week, we're making Joker pancakes. That's my son's um, favorite. So, these the are our fruit citrus pancakes, all organic pancakes. And if you want to oh, reuse. I know. Crazy. Um, you also smell pancakes, though, too. Probably have to clean up the spot. Gingerbread pancake? No, but you can. You can oh. No, this is a regular pancake. I was about to snack my own. <laughs> you can make a gingerbread pancake. You can literally yeah, just be like, what is it? Yeah. Um, but you can take your cutter that comes in a kit. Christmas kit. Yeah, and you can make gingerbread. And so my kids love it. Like at breakfast time, if. Um, That's bomb. I guess I should say our kids. Our kids love it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not used to doing this with you. This is like That's a right. new and a fun experience. I'm out. I'm out. No. You're not. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, so just sort of a fun way, and then if you don't want to be wasteful, you yeah. can make different shapes. Sometimes I take um, the excess from it, and I make the mouth and the nose out of, like, you can cut, you know, and do, like, yeah. And so, I, by the way, our kids eat a lot faster that when... That price is right skills right there. Solid. Our kids eat a lot faster when um, they're in the shape of something. Yeah, if it looks like a toy, right. <laughs> they eat it faster. Except our daughter, and our son's not there yet, our daughter's at the point now, she's seven, where she'll bite the head off. And then pick it up and be like, Dad, I killed the gingerbread man. <laughs> and it's really exciting to her. I found her a little creepy. No, she saw that, uh, what's the one with the cop that's a bunny? Oh, Zootopia. And she loves the beginning, that blood, blood, blood. Again, and that's, dead. that's not what looks like. She also liked the Wicked Witch in the, when she was four. <laughs> and wasn't scared of the flying monkey. Like she also likes Darth Vader. Here's what it is. Okay, and this may or may not come from my side of the family. She likes the bad guys because they can do whatever they want. They get away with murder. When the first time she watched Star Wars with me, she said, Dad, oh, who's that? I said, that's Darth Vader. And she's watching the movie. And she sees Darth Vader just doing literally whatever he wants. She goes, Dad, can Darth Vader do whatever he wants? And I go, no. And she goes, yes, he can. And I can't really, really argue with her. And we start getting this philosophical sort of conversation on Darth Vader. I said, no, he can't. He has a boss. She goes, who's Darth Vader's boss? I said, the Emperor, baby girl. She goes, who's the Emperor? And my dad instincts kicked in right away. I said, I am. And that was, the, that was the best answer I could give her. But she likes bad guys because they do whatever they want. Um, that, you need to come up with another trivia question and give away another one of your books. Do you want to come up with a question, Frank yeah. James? Yeah. Yeah, James. What's your question? Wait, Emma, right? Let's see. Let's this see. first one was for Emma, correct? So Emma, you can see that we actually made a sign in it for you right here. What's, okay, we did I Know You Did together. Let's do an I Know You Did trivia. You don't remember. Oh. I actually you have got one. one? Okay, good. Next year is an anniversary for that movie. What number anniversary is 2000? Oh, that's way, yeah. See, I was going to have to make something. I, don't know. I was like, you know. Probably going to lie and yeah. pick a random winner. Yeah, you got it. Mackay Pfeiffer. Fair enough. That is not the answer to my question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, he was in the second one. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't in that one. Your picture, what? The memory of you. The memory of me. It was just, you couldn't forget. 
Hey, did you get paid for them just having a photo of you in that movie? Yeah. If I had to pay for the rest of my paycheck, no. She would have said, no, 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 is this just going to make us feel really old? Is this not a good idea? Are we off? 20? Wow. 20 years. Got to be close. Is it really 20? <laughs> Yo, I'm 40. Wow, that kind of sucks. <laughs> so Danny and Emma, both, you guys, um, contact info at foodsters.com with your address so that we can actually send you these as opposed to just signing them on TV and not on CCTV. Oh, yes. Sign them on TV and, 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 and keep it, right? Because we just don't know and where Every week just go, look, we didn't we send didn't. it yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we're not. And the reason I know that it's 20 years is because, just again to show how folks we are, so, um, it's because the producer of that movie, Son, was in our box oh, last. Oh, that's right, of course, it. of course. Mm -hmm, I learned something there. Producer, oh. remember that. I don't remember that. He also still has the hook, which is a little creepy. <laughs> Does he really? To Danny, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's I kind of like the, the old memorabilia stuff. My uncle Paul Williams, he was my dad's best friend. Um, and not blood, but he was my dad's best friend. He's the president of ASCAP now, and he protects musicians' rights, basically. But he wrote a lot of the music for The Muppet Show and The Muppet Movies and Willie Nelson and everybody else out there back in the day. And uh, he had the original Kermit the Frog. And uh, oh, granted, the hook was slash Kermit, and we'd be eating frog legs, but I like when people have the original. My mom would never let me play with it. As soon as she'd leave, she's like, you go ahead, little Freddy. You always call me little Freddy. You go ahead, even though he's little. You go ahead, little Freddy. Go play with that Kermit the Frog. I once guessed it. I once guessed it on Jimmy Kimmel with Miss Piggy, and I was so excited. Really? I was so excited. You and Miss Piggy, huh? Who voiced Piggy? Was it Frank? Was it Frank? Piggy spoke. Oh, sorry. Sorry. What are you talking about? Didn't mean the record. He's very real. Just joking. Great. Next thing you know. No. <laughs> You're a mean one. Mr. Green. Uh, let's see. Any other questions? Burning questions? Yeah, I'll beat my voice. That was really, that was like solid. Real Any player, other yeah. requests for, for Freddie to sing? Um, who planted the seeds of inspiration behind your culinary skills? Caroline Mine? Yeah. My, that's all because of my mother. Most of the life lessons that I learned were in front of a stove around 9 o'clock at night when my mom would get off work, come home, and we would eat like a late dinner or a late snack, and she would, you know, make me miso soup. And then learning about miso soup in Japan was the first conversation we had about my grandpa in World War II. It was on the USS Nevada, which was one of like two ships to escape the bombing of Pearl Harbor, only to be beached a few minutes later. He was a mechanic on the ship, and he would say, I never saw a war, but I heard every bomb drop, <laughs> which is pretty intense if you think about it. But that's how I learned a lot about life. And so when I got into high school, they're like, World War II, I was like, you know, they, like my dad had this whole joke about the age of him in class when the teacher would go, okay, tomorrow's assignment. And then one kid would go, I'm done already. That was me. <laughs> that's also our daughter. Yeah, it is. She also likes, me too. Um, I want to say something because I want to take this opportunity and say thank you. First of all, I want to say thank you to you, Freddie, because mm -hmm. this is, no, seriously, this has been a journey and it's, you know, been a journey for our whole family because it's been, you know, two years really hard work and trying something and learning a new skill and, and starting a company and all that and I wouldn't have been able to have done that without Aww. all of your help and your support but I also couldn't have done it or we couldn't have done it at Foodsters without all of you guys and you know you may not think it's much when you like a comment or you write a comment but for us it means the world because it means we're doing something and when you write you know when is it coming to Australia or we want to do it so badly and you guys are the motivation of why we're all working so hard to bring you the best possible tasting product the best quality product best ingredients and we want to get it to those other countries too and you know we, we want to do it the right way and keep the integrity of the product but but stay with us and, and keep believing because we're coming but I did want to say because it is a holidays and yeah. it's about what we're thankful for and every time you guys like a video or a recipe or tell us you made something we read all of those stories yeah, and I do and Gobi always says if you're having a bad day you know we'll scroll through and we'll see someone tell a story about how they got that opportunity to really to do what Freddie and I just did which is in the kitchen I mean minus me looking at the comments on the phone but you put your phone down and you spend time and hands and you're laughing and you're creating and those are the memories that whether you have
kids, whether you're a couple, whether it's girlfriends, those are what holidays are about. And, well, that's um, awesome, man. Yeah, Look, hey, I didn't marry you because you're scared to try new stuff. You know what I mean? Like, so I appreciate you saying that, but you're brave and it takes guts to step outside your comfort zone and try new stuff. And so check out her website and take from it what you will, but also take inspiration from people stepping out and trying new things because I know this sounds crass, but it takes balls, man, and it takes guts, and I, uh, thank you. I'm glad that you did it. Well, thank you. I mean, that's what we try to do. Sorry is for it, saying balls. That's it's okay. Great. You can say balls, balls. Right. Um, balls, balls. Um, <laughs> just because. Uh, no, what I, what I was going to say is that we you really try to... You watch the South Park movie too much. <laughs> I love that movie so much. I love that movie so much. Um, we really tried to make it simple, and whether it's just our mixes or our kits, we really tried to make the best tasting and simple process to do it so that you can make it easily. And then on our website, we've tried to sort of up those recipes. So if you're one of those people that really likes a challenge of trying different ingredients, whether it's avocado brownies or our carrot cake or, you know, we, we have it for all mm -hmm. skill levels. And I should probably say, because I get asked this all the time, all of our mixes are vegan. So, uh -huh. yes. Well, yeah, so you can use um, alternatives to butter and milk and, and keep them vegan. We've had a lot of um, Success. I'm accessorizing my you, you shit. Accessorize. Shit finds accessories. Um, they're also kosher, uh, all organic. Everything is, all of our mixes are certified organic. And they're certified that they taste really good from both of us. It right. might be certifiable, but no good food. But not when it comes to food. Yes. Um, and then also, I want to say, keep an eye out, um, just to get in the holiday spirit. Starting next week, uh, we're going to do some fun food space giveaways um, on my channel and Freddie's channel. Um, so keep an eye out for those. Because I won't give away as much as she does. Because she's nicer than me. Because I think she's, no, she's a very good cook. So, um, I was going to say, I, that help, let me help you um, stock your stuffing, but that, I mean, stuff your stocking. Stuff your stocking? But that stock doesn't sound, that doesn't, neither, neither one sounds one good. Sounds neither good. one sounds like anything <laughs> I should do. Um, are they really good? Are they really good? No. Um, so, I want to say, is there any other questions or, Greg, do you have a, <laughs> do you have a question? No, there's. <laughs> I wish you could see our Foodsters team too. And also, I want to say, take this opportunity on live Facebook to thank our Foodsters family that they also put in really long hours and real dedication and they believe in the product. And I've seen Foodsters team members just like at the grocery store, just like randomly walk, have you tried this yet? And they're fun to come to work with and we love them very, very much. And the extended Foodsters family on the East Coast. Thanks yes, for yes, Corinne and Catherine, the Foodsters <laughs> family, John Lawson, we're watching all of you guys. Um, See, I'm having to cry because you're crying. I'm right. sad. Told him. Um, I said, she's a sufferer. It was hard. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to wish everyone, no matter what you celebrate, a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year. You're talking to you, don't cry. Just say bye. Uh, <laughs> thank you.